everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Revita, the Toxic Sewers Update Alpha 0.31. Uh, so, this is going to be a little weird, and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to handle this series, but it's, it's uh, for those of you that don't know, it is a side-scrolling platformer, roguelike, kind of like if you put Gungeon on a, on a 2D plane, or a side-scrolling 2D plane as opposed to a top-down. Uh, closest would be like Neon Abyss, but it has an itemization system that's maybe a little closer to Isaac. Even though Neon Abyss got close, it, they mostly just had a lot of weird egg spam. Uh, but this game is absolutely gorgeous, really fun to play, and also really hard. Uh, luckily, there's some accessibility settings to kind of offset that a bunch. Mainly just slowing the game down and giving you aim assist. It's super tempting to actually just turn aim assist to maxi maximum and go from there. Anyway, so this will be out on March 3rd. Which is like the day before Loop Hero, so we'll see how that goes, but it's an absolutely fantastic game. So, I sincerely hope it does really well. Let's dive in, and die a bunch. Because like I said, it's hard. Okay. Oh, I forgot how good the music was. Okay. Jump lets you slide and jump off walls. Yeah, new roguelikes. Yup. Oh. Okay, shoot in the direction. Cool. Dash. Shift to dash. Okay, let's see how this goes. I got absolutely smacked the last time I played this game. But maybe I'll be able to pull it off now. Oh, good. The floor traps are gone. I'd have to actually go back and rewatch my original series on how well I did on this one. Because I, I remember getting wrecked. Is that multiplayer ticking down? It is. So I need that multiplier to be going constantly. I was hoping that it would only go down... I was hoping it would only go down while I am... Uh, like, if I take damage. But it looks like that's not the case. I lose it constantly. Kind of looks like a better Magicite. Yeah, except for without any of the crafting and an itemization... Itemization? Item blah, blah, blah. Item system closer to like, yeah, Gungeon or Isaac or boy, howdy. Weird shot ghosts. Okay, what are you? Increases your damage multiplier by 5%. I'll take it. Didn't miss the stream. Hi. What's up, Ben Star? Your game is lovely. For those of you that don't know, devs in chat. All right, offer. Yes. Uh, let's see. I can offer up to three. This sounds like a terrible idea. We'll do two. Okay. Increases damage when low on HP. Fair enough. All right. Okay, focus. Gain souls by defeating enemies once the segment is filled. Focus to heal. Oh. There we go. Whew. Healing is tough. It's a lot bigger of a demo than you played the last time. Yeah, I figured as much. That's why I wanted to come back. Uh, I don't entirely know how I'm going to be recording this. Because, obviously, we've got we've got a couple weeks. Bye? Bye. we got a couple weeks before March 3rd rolls. Ow! Oh, I didn't even notice the little buggers down there. I love the outlines, though. It makes them easier to see. I just wasn't paying attention. I immediately switched focus. Uh... Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Let's see. But yeah, we've got some time before the game actually releases. Which means I can kind of take my time with this. But I know that if I don't play it fairly consistently, I'm going to get really crap... Well, crappy? I'm going to be very crappy at it and uh, just get wrecked anyway. So we'll see how it goes. Let's see, what do we got? What is this? Gives you half a heart container. I'll take it. Now, I could spend a key. How much? Gosh. Oh, right. Health is money. I forgot about that. I was like, how much money do I have? Oh, right. I spent it all. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe the treasure chest is safe. I know the shop itself costs... Costs... Heart. Hearts? Okay, so we'll just hang out here. 
and heal. There we go. That's so pretty. Onwards and this way wards. Nope. Still costs a heart to open any chest. Boy. Okay. Chance for a shop purchase to be free. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to die. Am I playing on the lower game speed? Yes, I'm at 90%. I generally slow things down to 80 or 90%, give or take. Uh, after Scourgebringer, I pretty much resolved myself to doing that just, just because I... The older I get, the less I want to do, like, ultra-fast paced. I still can, it's just less fun for me. Bees. Wait, do I get... I wonder if I get soul juice off of the bees that spawn in. Maybe. Okay. Oh, we get two shields, and we get we get this lady. Or is this the, this the shop? Okay, so I can increase my damage, wavy bullets, and increase your bullet range. Well, that would kill me. Welcome, fellow child! We have some relics and trinkets that might be of use to you. Bye-bye! Well, I mean, I could. We Look, if I'm gonna die, I might as well just own it with Wiggly- Oh, okay. I have no idea. This might actually be a terrible idea. Well, it's denial again. Is it just me or does he have way less HP than he used to? He certainly feels slightly less tanky. I am shocked that didn't hurt hit me. Okay. Let's see if I actually have the precision to avoid things today. Last time we did this, I did not have the precision at all. Oh, right, I'm doing more damage because I'm really low HP. I forgot about that. I almost never actually pick up perks like that because it's always a terrible idea. But I think it's actually making my life just that much better. Oh, come on. Please die. Got him. Wow, that was a lot easier. Secret uncovered. His face. Okay. Well, we get a damage up. We regain a heart. Weirdly shaped key. Someone at the station might be looking for it. And more shields. Okay. Do any of these heal me? No. Nope. Okay, no healing before the boss. Well, that wasn't bad. Okay, so we've got that. Is there anything over here? No. Okay, secret uncovered. Hello. Who are you? Can I talk to you? No. Hey, kid, I don't think we met yet. I'm the blacksmith on here. If you bring me any relics, I might be able to upgrade them for you. Well, for a price. Got, got something for me to take a look at? Oh, interesting. So, at the cost of health, I can increase all of these effects. Show upgrade. Well. I wonder if there's a level 3. 
So we could just continue to go absolute goofball here. And just pump my damage. Okay, so level three is the max absolute maximum. Oh. Oh, he costs max HP. That's useful. Okay. Well, that unlocks the secret. So I could keep upgrading these, but let's let's not. Let's go back here. And just hang out next to Glitch Boy. Glitch Child? This is a cute game. Okay. Oh, we've got a bunch of them around. Alright. Off we go. We didn't find out somebody that wanted the uh, key yet. Well, we're in the fun gated funnels. Okay, so I want to avoid taking damage, and then I want to sack another heart. Hopefully, so I can live mostly off of shields and just dodge a bunch. Okay. This whole wavy bullet thing might have actually been an absolutely piss poor idea. Okay. I'm just gonna hang out here where it's safe-ish. Alright, hello, is there anybody here that can take my HP away so I can die? Yeah, I'm sure it's a play on fumigated. <laughs> oh yeah, this this whole aim upwards thing is going to throw me for some loops. Or not aim upwards, the, the wavy bullets is going to throw me for some loops. It also does let me shoot around corners though, so like, we might actually just be able to hyper cheese our way through everything. Didn't I, like, just do this a couple of days ago in, uh, in 30XX? I'm not actually going to get good at this game, am I? <laughs> I'm just going to learn how to break it. Okay, I actually would really like a shop here. Well, there's a treasure chest. I'll take a treasure chest. Oh, is that a summoner? It's a summoner. It summons the weird squid friends. Oh, we get another we get another key. And we want to go for the chest because I want to have low HP. This requires 2 HP. All right. Oh, if I cancel that, I straight up lose the charge. Well, Does this kill me? No. Enemies get poisoned on, on spawning. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. All right, so that gives me a little bit. Uh, I can offer... I th think I can offer nothing. Okay, so if I offer nothing, I get nothing. That's fine. As nearby dead boy, uh, as nearly dead boy, this is going to be Harry. That said, what? Oh! Didn't even notice this on the ground. Uh, could have gone better. But yeah, the main benefit of this. I do twice as much damage as usual, so if I can just n not lose my shields... We should be able to pull it off. Uh, let's heal up. I'm not actually sure what qualifies as low health. Maybe it's just if we look beaten up as heck. 
That'll do it. Is this a roguelike? Yup. It is. It is absolutely a roguelike. Man, that... We might actually want to upgrade this poison. It's kind of obscenely good. Does it get the damage bonus? Upgrade one relic of the blacksmith for free. Hey. Uh... Jeez, what was I going to say? I don't know. Right. Does the damage bonus from, um... From being low HP, does that affect the poison damage or not? Because that's a, that's a fun synergy. Hard to work with, but fun. There we go. And the cheese. It's so good. I think it does. Status effects are dependent on your current stats. Cool. Uh, no. Okay, I might not actually be considered injured anymore. Well, I guess we'll find out, and if that's the case, that's the case. I'm still doing 22, so I think I'm okay. Knowing exactly what low HP would be would actually be kind of nice. Do we want to go to the merchant? Sure. See if we can buy, like, a shield. Each kill increases your damage for that room. I feel like the bandana wouldn't actually be that good. But I'm gonna buy it anyway. Alright, back to death's door I go! <laughs> it's gonna... Is Wonder gonna make it to the end of... The elf on his first run? Doubt it! Okay, traps are masked until they're in distance or being activated. Right, curse chest. Artifact of pain. Orbital deals more damage the lower your HP is. Oh, that's kind of perfect. That's kind of, that's exactly perfect. Deals more damage based on how low my HP is. Invest in Keeper of Rage. The thing is, I don't know this guy's pattern, so very real possibility he's just going to kill the shit out of me. Nope. Yeah. Speaking of... I'm really bad at trajectories. I guess I could just slow the game down tremendously. Yeah, let's stay away from Wave Bullet in the future. It is just a little too wavy for me. Alright. He is now hella mad. Out. And in. Lost once more. It's fine. So yeah, this is not out yet. It will be out on... Uh, on March 3rd. I was about to say November 3rd, and I'm like, what year am I in? Call the Metro. Interesting. Enter. Hello. I see the puny child has made their way in front of me. If it is help you're seeking, you won't find it here. Unless, if you bring me more of my keys, which those godforsaken monsters in the tower stole, I might have something for you. Gun boots. Here. Has been unlocked and can now appear in the tower. Oh, I'm terrible at that game. I really like shift as a back button. That's actually super nice. Okay, so where does this go? I don't know. We'll find out. Hello? Oh, we can just leave. All right, peace out. Goodbye. <laughs> but yeah, uh, those those boots are from Downwell. Oh, hello. Ah. 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 A passenger? 
What a rare oh, occasion. I should introduce myself. I am the caretaker of this station. And considering you have arrived with the metro, I take it you're aiming for the clock tower. Uh, oh, you need another ticket for the metro. Let me see. Ah, yes. Here, take this one. It should let you on the metro without you having to buy another ticket in the future. May your journey be successful. Farewell, child. If you die, dibs on your weird gun. Don't touch my tree. Oh, I see. So both of those doors up. Uh, both of these doors go up. All right. Well, back we go. So no, no real meta progression system here, just pure skill and unlocks. I like that. Why do I get the feeling this game is super dark? I've only seen some of the uh, promo images Ben Stars made for this, but it seems like there's kind of like a super depressing secret backstory for this game that, uh, that I'm going to feel weird about once I've like actually learned it. It's kind of like how Hollow Knight well, no. Hollow Knight's pretty outwardly depressing right from the get-go. Celeste, maybe? No, even Celeste is pretty upfront about kind of what it is. Oh, kitty next to the beard guy. Totally missed it. I'll grab him on the next round. I guess let's go for the slime first. I'm still a bit sad that the, uh... That enemies cannot be dragged or tricked into going onto traps. I always love games that let me do that, just purely from the perspective of enemies are dumb and kicking them around into traps is fun. Whoops, let's not actually stand there for that. I feel like 90% is pretty good for me. There's still a couple of moments where I absolutely just, like, cannot dodge, but I think that's just because I'm bad at dodge. Whoops. Oh, no. Right. They're off. Do we go for the chest? Sure. Oh! Check my collection. Oh, I do start with the gun boots. Probably because I just unlocked it. I like that system! It's like, hey, you just got this item. Oh, do we get the pain orb back? And this time without a curse. Unfortunately, I think it does collision damage, which is a little bit more limited. But yeah, that's that's a very good system. Let's just offer one heart. Increased chance of finding shields gives you an extra shield. I like that. I like that a lot, especially if I can upgrade that one. Weapon. Well, I don't have any keys, so maybe I'm not going to be able to get in there. Never mind. Thanks, game. It's like you knew. Okay, prison key. Never mind. That's for something else. Moldy cheese. That's so cute. Oh, I can just go through here. I don't actually need a key for this. Are you brave enough to embrace Mother's challenge in exchange for 1 HP? Yes. Defeat enemies, 15. Alright. Well, if it's just these guys, we're okay. These guys are a little stinkier, but I think we'll be fine. Whoop! Rude! That's already in the air. Okay, and we do get a thing. Increases your fire rate. Oh! The challenge even cost me HP. Well, I should probably heal. Probably should have healed at some point sooner, but... Oh, whatever. Gotta love watching small children getting absolutely bodied. You know, saying that in, like, 
any other context than this just makes you sound like an absolute crazy pants. Oh, thank you, Gun Boots, for the slight uh, double jump there. I would have been in trouble. Is it weird that I'm missing my wave bullet? Ow. Well, picked a bad time to go for it. Okay. Yep, I can get rid of the shot boys. Man, we're just getting key after key. Is this another prison key? Yeah, it is. Now, I could open the... Ah, uh, you know what? We're going for it. Let's just figure out what everything is worth. Okay. Lazy Eye. Increases your damage, lowers your accuracy. Two orbitals that have a chance to temporarily be destroyed... Or to be temporarily destroyed... On... Uh, let's see, uh, on enemy contact. I'm just gonna try that. Stack some orbitals. I'm probably gonna die. But the the blessed damage bonus seems kinda nice, too. Maybe. Wave bullets, Stockholm Syndrome. I mean, kinda. Wow, that was quick. Shields, yes. Okay. Opens, locks, gates, dashing through enemies will damage them. Increase your damage by 5%. I'm going to err on the side of uh, none of these really immediately interest me. I like the things with more immediately unique effects. I'm just going to hang out back here. There we go. It's like a half damage multiplier is kind of nice, but it's not going to be what makes or breaks this round. So that sometimes has a cursed item. Maybe it's just before the uh, second boss. Alright, Denial. Now, unfortunately, I do considerably less damage to Denial this time around. Oops. Curious if... Okay. Curious about that orbital of mine, but I don't want to risk it. Man, that shot rate up is lovely. use the orbital for damage, but I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it off. Okay. Kind of trapped myself with that one. I was really hoping I'd be able to change the angle better. Almost whiffed that one. Please die, sir. Thank you. Yeah, looking better than the last run. Yeah, I I was doing okay on the last run. Okay. No, I just gained a health. Didn't actually get anything terribly fancy there. Well, I'll take it. This has a very seven stages of grief feel. Yep, I think that's intentional. It's an easy way to theme theme bosses. And give it kind of like a character connection. Okay, now I believe... Got something for me to take a look at. Alright, so I get one free upgrade. Now, 
We could upgrade this. Two uses. Extra chance for shields. Five oh, only five percent. Ooh. So this only gives me a five percent increase in fire rate. That's okay. Going up to the knight's helmet gives me five percent more chance to find a shield, which is actually really good. Artifact of pain is okay. Gun boot for extra not really double jump. But I'm thinking I'm thinking brick block. Okay, and then we'll stop there. I'd like to upgrade some more, but I don't want to sacrifice heart containers that are currently filled. Let's see, why can't you preview max level? Is scaling linear? As far as I can tell, yes. Yeah, I figure having these bricks last longer potentially keeps them around for me, me to utilize. Okay, I don't know what the... Okay, those things just shoot. Damn it. I was kind of waiting for those bullets to disappear. But no, I'm the only one that actually has a range limitation here. Let's see, the scaling in the bricks wasn't... You're right. I'm kind of just trapped in here, aren't I? Well. Yeah. I think next set of upgrades we get, I'll upgrade the knight helmet. Higher chance of finding armor is going to be lovely. I don't know what the deal is with you. That's adorable. Unfortunately, I have all this extra soul bit and nothing to use it on. No key either. Ah! Let me hurt myself! Yes. Offer. Let's do two whole hearts. Alright, heals you up one heart if you start a room with less. Oh, up to one heart if you start a room with less. That's obscenely good! Well, I guess I might as well heal here anyway. Uh, that's effectively a five-finger discount. Kind of. Oops. Ow. Got another prison key. And something about an acid vial. Well, give this another shot. Brave enough to embrace Mother's Challenge for one HP? Yes. Defeat the enemies. Okay, this is chaos. It just says defeat all of the enemies. Is it just these dudes? No, I'm not that lucky. Duh! I forgot they do that. It is equal parts hilarious to watch and kind of hard to deal with. Is there another enemy? Did I did I win? Oh. Okay, that was weird. There was an invisible worm. Okay, more curses you have, the more damage you deal. Corrupted, get a curse. Curses! Enemies might spawn on other enemies upon death. You know, all things considered, I can I can swing that. So it was slightly broken, but not really. All right, so let's go get cursed as hell. Okay, do I get a key? Yeah, give me that key. I gotta go hurt myself. 
That sounds weird. Oh, we get another shield. I'll take it, I guess. Oh, but that didn't cost me a key. Let's see. Speaking of curses, curses have you heard of Elysia? Yep. I played, like, two episodes of it, and then I stopped. It's a super good game, and, like, I'd love to go back to it if I could. But, uh, unfortunately, game developers don't stop, and so I can't either. Like, I'm, I'm in a, uh... I'm in an infinite loop of, like, new game comes out, I check it out, it's good, I play more of it. Rinse, repeat until there's, like, nothing left uh, for my schedule for actually finishing the games. That's why I like roguelikes so much, because then there's no real feeling of, like, okay, I just have to push onwards and then I'll finish it. I mean, there kind of is, like, one, there is absolutely one more run syndrome, which is, uh, I, oh, I jumped, but I was right on the wall, so it didn't matter. Um... Uh, Okay, there's the shopkeeper for me to obtain items. Let's you reroll items by shooting them, but it increases their price. Let's grab the damage up. I mean, honestly. Secret uncovered. Don't just look. Bye bye. Well, all right. Wander your health. It's fine. I have the cookie jar. The cookie jar will save me. Okay, this is a little spooky. Oh, right. These guys are the summoners. Oh, I need a key to get, get to that one. We'll see how this goes. Uh, hello. Curse? No curse? Damn it. Well, boss time. As long as I respect the orb, I'll, I think I'll have an easier time with this guy. I... Okay. I was not aware that he would summon friends, frenzies. Oh, shit. That hurt me. This is just concerning. Oh, up there. Ow! Well, that was just poor timing. Not the first time that's, uh, that's not the first time that poor timing has just absolutely wrecked me. All right, and with that, this is a pretty good stopping point, obviously. <laughs> Uh, end of a run. I like how quick and snappy this game is. It's just so nice. I So many roguelikes I play are like an hour long, two hours long, and it's just like, where do I even cut that? And the answer is, I have no idea. Anywho, uh, so I guess quick thing to say before we go, I guess to reiterate, is that Revita will be out on March 3rd in early access with more content than you've seen here. Uh, which I'm excited for. It's probably one of the more anticipated roguelikes coming out this year. Though I'm tempering that a little bit just because early access is, is well, I mean, it's early access. I, I can't wait for the eventual 1.0 release for this. It's just so dang pretty. It's so snappy. I like the power-up so far. And the fact that you use health as a resource is absolutely painful. But it does open this game up for a lot of risk-reward plays that I feel like I don't really do in a whole lot of other roguelikes. The only other one I can think of that comes close is, like, Curse of the Dead Gods. <laughs> Actually coming out sooner than later, too. But, uh, so with this, I've got two more episodes of the Alpha in the backlog. They'll be going out over the next couple of days. And then we're going to go on a short pause and then come back for the early access version of Revita. So, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm going to play a lot now and a lot later. Uh, so, with all that said, thanks for watching. See you next time.